And we'll start off with a product that has been released. So the new D-Lab 2.0 uh, mask. This is homogenous masks. to something. Yeah, the first had carbon. Yeah, the, well, that's a mix. You, you always need, need a mix um, of carbon fibers. Yep. So you have normal modulus, intermediate modulus, and high modulus fibers. Right. And um, the reason why you need it is you can compare it, for example, um, with ceramics. If you have a, a cup, for example, yeah, um, mm -hmm. it's it's super stiff, yeah, but super brittle, yeah, and that would be the same if you only would use one type of fiber, right? So you need a perfect mix of the different fibers at the perfect position, yeah, in the mast to take the loads, yeah, but even also be stiff enough. And is it multiple, like one layer of high modulus, one layer of normal, or is it in the weave? Uh, no, it's um, it's layer wise, yeah. Um, we don't have combined reefs, no. um, but we, we, we check where we, we put the layers because um, it depends. For example, when you, when you have the, the layer on top, it yeah. takes more or less the highest loads, yeah. and the layers in the middle um, mm -hmm. will take more shear stress. Yeah. Um, and you, you also have yeah, different forces. Um, one is one is compression and one is one is tension. Yeah, depending on how how you direct, and we we also have uh, have distortion. So we we try to simulate everything um, at the computer first, and then Leopold, what I already mentioned at the beginning, is setting up uh, the layup. Yeah, and yeah, then we we make the prototypes, and but we also do lab tests. We have a lab in in uh, in Vienna. Yeah. Um, where we can can do bending tests or something like that. Yeah, and then we do the tests on um, on it in our lab. Yeah, and then on the water. And when we when we are happy with everything, that means if the weight is in the right range combined with the um, properties we want to have. Yeah, then we are happy and we will re release the product. If we are not happy, we will go another round and check what we can optimize. Yeah, um, to get more or less the best product. Yeah, yeah, cool. So I know this master's of printing now. I was trying to trying to put into words what is different. I, there's things that are visibly different, but it'd be good to hear your perspective. Like, no. I know I've used this quite a few times now. I've got the 76, 76, 74? 76. 76 on my pump foil, because once I add the foil drive, you know, it adds five centimeters. I'm very close to what I wing on, which is 80, well, now the 84, but it used to be the 82. Um, yeah, and I'm using the 82 for winging. And I, I know this was when I, it's the same as when the, like the team edition Colab mask came out before we had the standard Fanatic. When I jumped onto the Colab, I was like, this is night and day. Like it was a massive improvement. It just, everything you wanted, you know, there was just very little drag. You would get going earlier. You'd have reduction in weight. It was a bit more playful because it's a bit more flex in it. And obviously I'm quite light. Um, I really liked it. it. had a bit, it was a bit softer. Um, but what, like, you can see visibly that like the shape is quite, this is the old one, this is the new one. The base is obviously quite a lot wider and then it's what, slightly narrower at the top. Um, and then is, is the thickness much different? And what does my understanding of the widths down here and because a lot of the sort of higher performance modulus masks seem to have this kind of, they call it something, this type of shape, how it was. Yeah, Stuff tapered. Like, tapered shape, yeah. Um, does that help with it's not cavitation but like stability when it's when it's foiling? Um, yeah, to be thicker at that point, um, the reason for that is to be to be stiff enough over the complete product. If you compare it with this, you you have completely straight a straight outline. Yeah, that means you will have the same drag at every point, no matter how how deep the mast is in the water. Yeah. Um, here. This part of the mast will be will be in the water more or less only at the start. So at the start, for sure, the, the drag matters, but in the end, it's about the riding behavior yeah. when you're flying. Yeah. So you end up here or even even a little bit lower. Yeah. And, and here, um, we try to keep the cord as short as possible which is drag yeah. to reduce drag yeah. um, but we still need the stiffness and rigidity here because when you when you think um, so about the about the mechanics about it's yeah. it's completely um, fixed here and the load comes out of the foil yeah. if it's torsion or bending yeah um, depends what you are doing but then the load goes 
directly yeah. um, in, in this area. And yeah. for that reason, you really need to be... And it's in lots of different directions. Yeah, you, you, you really need material here at this point. And that's the reason why the these masts um, are, are look, looking like this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. And then, obviously, the head is very different. This one is a glued-on head. Yeah. And is that the main reason the weight, you know, it's, it's very marginal. It's, to me, this feels lighter, but um, just because of the way it looks, it, it's more sort of well-designed and I think it's cleaner cut and the way it's all sort of built in. But when we have put them on the scales, it's fractionally heavier. I think you're explaining to me that this is glued. Yeah. Um, here, here you have a glued blade. Yeah. Um, that... With, with this construction, we could m make the mast itself pretty light. Yeah. Um, because we could make the profile hollow. Yeah. So you only only have a stringer here in the middle. Yeah. To take the shear stress and also a bit of for for the torsion. Yeah. Um, but you can make the product hollow. What helps to reduce the weight. Yeah. Here we have a foam core. We also try to make to to use a foam core with a with a low density. To make it as light as possible, but you cannot go um, for a for a hollow mast because it's completely closed. Yeah. So you you have no option to 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 make it hollow. Yeah. And yeah, due to the complete different shape, also the layup is different. What results in a different weight? Yeah. And um, we tried to make this mast even stiffer than the former mast. So we ended up also with more fibers. What you can feel with the weight, but you can also feel when you ride this, yeah, that it's more direct. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely. Yeah. Okay. It's sort of like direct in the right way. So it still has the flex, but it, it like continues round. So it gives you that flex back. It's like, you know, good carbon, or say good carbon paddle is one that flexes, but gives you some like reflex, yeah. that like recoil. And I find that does that. And the point of the head, is this the head? I can't remember which end. Yeah. Uh, uh, why did you go for like a one piece? Obviously, it looks really nice, and I imagine it's more fluid. Yeah, that's um, it's more it's more streamlined. Yeah, um, we we also tried to to reduce the thickness in the front. Yeah, and drag. Um, yeah, on the first look, it, it it doesn't really look too fluid optimized, but um, if you compare it with this, um, it's completely different, and you you see these straight lines. Yep, where the the water could follow. Yes. Here you will end up with some turbulences. Yep. What also um, results in a bit of drag. So you will feel when you use this mast um, for the start, you could start probably one knot earlier compared to the former version. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps also two knots. It's more. It's hard to to put it in numbers, but you will feel a difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you do. That's it. It's like I can't quite explain why but it's just definitely the evolution like as everything is going with foiling it's definitely better than that it's just there's obviously a few things going on that makes it like that <clears throat> and then i guess one of the last things there's obviously a little tiny screw at the top and everyone was confused about what that was yeah. when they first arrived that's to do with the long fuselage um the reason for that is to be more or less future proof yeah because when we show up with something new it's could be the case that we need a bit more stiffness in the end yeah. um, of the tail, especially when there would be a longer tail. Yeah. Um, and that's the reason why we have this. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no worries. Um, it's completely downwards compatible. You can use it with every foil you have, even if there is at some point a foil in the range with ha which has the screw. Um, you could also combine it, for example, with your existing... Um, tails, yeah, which don't have has the hole, and use it without it. Yeah, so it's a three bulb system, three BS. Yeah, three BS. So we call it three BS plus on now. The aluminium and the and the D lab versions. And, uh, and yeah, it's 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 only optional to to use it. It's it's yeah yeah. And then I think the last thing is the length. So it went from seventy five to seventy four on the shortest. Yes, yeah, seventy five to seventy six. Seventy six. It went down yeah. to longer, which has really helped me for. Um, from my understanding and from my in my position, I use the shortest mast for like sup downwind foiling, yeah, uh, prone because I'm using it in very small waves. Plus the the thickness of the foil drive then gets me close to an eighty, uh, and then the eighty used to be an eighty two, now, now an eighty four, which I think people are always in between the eighty two and the ninety. 
I mean, I personally thought the 90 was a bit long for winging, yeah. especially on the south coast in wings chop because you're really far away from the wave and you're not getting the power. Um, so I think 84 just gives that people that little bit more they were looking for without me having to go to a 90. And then we were saying a minute ago, there's a quite a big jump from the 90 to the 90. Four now, yeah, she's four centimeters. Just what and what was the main reasons for that? Yeah, um, you 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 more or less already described everything. What's behind it? Because um, the ninety is a, is a bit long. Yeah, for yeah. for the normal winger, for example. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, but the eighty two was sometimes a bit short when you have pretty choppy conditions or something like that. You really have to follow the waves. Yeah, and um, these two centimeters help. Yeah, um, to to go over this, um, and you don't need a 90 anymore. Yeah. So um, the 94 is more race oriented, oriented, and and for for kiting, for example, for that you you it's it's better to have the the longer mast, um, and the 84 is more or less the the one fits all mast. Yeah. Like like the 82 before, um, but now with the, I um, mean, yeah, with these two centimeters more. Um, he's, yeah, yeah. We had we had a lot of talks with with all the team riders and um, got some infos from them. And yeah, that's the reason why we ended up with this um, different different length. Yeah, and um, yeah, we we really tried to to optimize um, every mass length for the dif different disciplines. Like you mentioned, the seventy six is for downwinding, yeah. for proning, also works for pump foiling pretty good. Yeah. Um, then the 84 is the all-rounder, um, which also is a bit thicker. Yeah. We end up with 14.5 millimeters. Yes, I know. They're just scaled up. They no. In design. We, we decide every every length um, on its own. For its own need, yeah. For, for its own need. Um, and also the profiles are different. So the 76 and the 84 have a pretty similar profile. Yep. Yeah. Um, only that the 84 um, has 14.5 millimeter thickness um, because that way, yeah, 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 you have feel the thickness, yeah, um, because it's used for freestyle and for that you really need a bit more um, stiffness and rigidity and yeah, it must be durable yeah. for this discipline. Yeah, um, the 76 has um, a bit lower drag profile wise than the 94 yeah but there's always one thing you have to keep in mind that the profile um affects uh, the the ventilation in the mast so the 76 um would ventilate a bit more than the 94 but that will not happen because you don't ride that high uh, that low angles like you do during racing or kiting right so we had to choose a different profile for the 94 that we get rid of these ventilations at higher speeds right okay and and for the 84 um also the uh, the profile of the in, in a similar um type of the 76 uh, was chosen um because also there you don't end up with too high angles but it's it's also forgiving um, ventilation-wise, but yeah, for the especially for the ninety-four, we had to choose a complete different profile to to avoid these ventilations. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I didn't really know that. Didn't really think about it too much. But I guess yeah. I don't use longer masts. It's more. Yeah. And what's what's also important um, about the new masts compared to the former is really the cord length. Okay. Because that loosens up the riding behavior. Yeah. Um, and we have uh, 108 millimeter for the 76, yeah, 110 for the 84, yeah, and 118 for the 94. And that's distance. That the, the shortest quad length. Okay. The the shortest distance. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. And the follow masts um, have a quad length of 125 millimeters. Yeah. Although yeah, that's quite a lot more. The um, SLS quick mount yep. um, is called mid. Yep. The mid comes because it's a mid profile between the former D-level mm -hmm. and uh, the normal SLS right. with a cord length of 130 millimeter. Okay. And the normal SLS has 135 millimeter. Yeah. So, I guess. Yeah. Cool. 
I think we're there. Any questions, just drop them in and we can try and get them answered for you. I think we covered more than I was expecting, which is great. That's cool. Okay, next product.